U.S. Air Force reveals plan to buy 26 new E-7 planes from Boeing. The U.S. Air Force has set out its plans to purchase 26 E-7 planes from Boeing, with the first of the weapons systems expected to be in service in 2027. The E-7 will replace the E-3, with Boeing confirming the company will produce two variants of the new U.S. aircraft. The U.S. Air Force and Boeing have signed an initial contract for $1.2 billion, which will see an additional 24 E-7s in place by 2032. According to Boeing, the E-7 provides a fully integrated combat-proven flexible command and control node that delivers multi-domain awareness in the most challenging operational environments. Other current E-7 operators include the Royal Australian Air Force, Republic of Korea Air Force, Turkish Air Force, and the United Kingdom's Royal Air Force. The E-7 is a proven platform, said Stu Vaborl, E-7 Program Vice President and General Manager. It is the only advanced aircraft that is capable of meeting the U.S. Air Force's near-term airborne early warning and control requirement, while enabling integration across the joint force. The U.S. defense see the acquisition of the E-7 as a critical step in delivering battle space awareness and management capabilities to U.S. warfighters. The new fleet will become the principal sensor for detecting, identifying, tracking, and reporting all airborne activity to Joint Force Commanders. We conducted a thorough analysis of viable industry options to ensure the selected E-3 replacement could meet the specific needs of the U.S. until the E-7A is fielded. We will continue to rely on the E-3. Airborne early warning and control, said Andrew Hunter, Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, Technology and Logistics. Thanks for watching.